The visual of a starving and struggling artist is something that's always been embedded in our mind ever since our childhood, but it really doesn't have to be that way. Nowadays, there are just so many different options available for artists to monetize not just their work but also their talents. And in this video, we're going to be discussing all of them. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shivani and I'm an artist and entrepreneur based in the sunny city of Chennai in the south of India. It's so great to be back to the channel after a one month long break and I'm not sure if you noticed but I'm in a brand new studio space and I will plan to do a future video where I take you through my new studio setup but for now if you want to follow along on all the updates with my studio be sure to follow me on Instagram. Now let's jump straight into monetization options for artists. So firstly you need to understand that there are two types of income sources that you could potentially have. Some income sources are active which means you need to be actively doing the work in order to make money and the other is passive so that would mean that you create something and once that one time upfront work is done you're able to passively keep earning an income without actually working on the thing so in this video I'm going to be telling you a mix of active as well as passive sources of income that you could explore and I'm dividing them briefly into three different categories so the first category is your art itself so these are quite obvious the first is that you create a piece of art you could sell that piece of art so you could work in terms of individual pieces of art or you could create a collection wherein they all have a similar theme similar colors that you're using and you could market that to your audience now creating art could either be in the form of creating pieces that you really want to create that is 100% your own creative expression or or it could be in the form of commissioned projects. So a client could discover you on a social media platform, for example, and come to you and say, hey, I would like a painting of so-and-so, maybe my pet. And then you design that artwork based on the needs of that particular client. So then we have a spin-off from creating your own art, which is creating prints of your own art. That's something I do on my own website as well, wherein I create prints on demand. So once I receive an order, then then I get the prints made and I send them out to the clients. Now this could be something that is either active or passive but in terms of the actual artwork you've already put in the work of creating something and now it's just a matter of replicating it and creating duplicates of it and shipping that out to customers. So even that shipping process a lot of artists choose to order prints in advance from their suppliers and store them in their warehouse or in their studio and then ship out orders themselves. But if you want to simplify that process further, you could team up with any kind of print on demand service where you could create the prints only against order so you don't have any upfront cost or maintenance required for inventory and you could just keep shipping orders as they come in and you could try to make that as passive as possible. Now similar to selling prints of your work is selling merchandise using your work. So this could be anything ranging from t-shirts, tote bags, enamel pins, anything and there are so many different services available which are print on demand like I mentioned with the uh, print of the art work itself as well that really simplify this process for you so you don't have to put in the effort or energy or even the upfront cost of creating a lot of inventory and storing it with you you could just have the fulfillment as well taken care of by these companies that you can partner with you could possibly have a Shopify or Etsy store where customers can come in and shop from you um, and then the fulfillment is taken care of by your print-on-demand partner the next idea I have for you is to sell digital downloads of your artwork so I do this with my artwork on Etsy and it brings in some amount of passive income to me on a monthly basis I don't do much work actively on the site I had the one-time upfront work I did of actually setting up my store and creating my listings but since then most of the orders have just passively come in and I just interact with some of the customers uh, when an order comes in or when a query comes in and that's about 
about it. So you could do this in the form of just digital uh, printable artwork. So you don't have to do any of the printing or shipping work. The customers purchase the product and they can take care of the printing on their end. You could also do this in the form of mobile wallpapers or bookmarks for example. I saw another artist who was doing that. So you could get creative with this and just sell different kinds of digital downloads that would be a great way to sell your art without having to create any inventory. And the next thing that you could do with your art is licensing. Licensing means giving rights to a brand or a company to use your artwork in any kind of way that they wish to. So that could be in the form of prints for their own store. It could be in the form of using it for say upholstery or uh, apparel fabrics. So that completely depends on your arrangement with the brand you choose to work with. And there are tons of resources online about licensing for artists, which you could look into if that's something that interests you. I'd also recommend checking out a store like Society6 where all you need to do is upload your art work and then you could have it applied on a whole range of different products right from uh, t-shirts to uh, bedding materials and curtains and all kinds of things so you could check out a website like society6 so that again you don't have too much work other than creating the artwork and then marketing your products on the store so that completes the first section which is about monetizing your artwork itself now the next thing that you could monetize is your skills or your talent and that is in the form of teaching so with teaching there are a lot of options that exist for you i'm sure if you're at the point in your art journey where you're starting to think about monetization you're probably at some skill level where you feel confident about your ability to produce artwork that you're proud of now if you are at that stage it probably means that you also have skills that you can pass on to other people in the form of teaching it to them so let's talk about all the options that exist there the first one i'll mention is skillshare skillshare is a platform on which i started teaching early in 2000 2022. I've put up two courses there so far and I definitely plan to put up a lot more courses on the platform and I think Skillshare is a platform where there are a lot of students already existing on the platform so even if you don't already have an audience that you've built up it's a great platform to be because if you do the right things and if you work on the SEO for your class you'll be able to attract students to your class even if you don't already have an existing existing audience on other platforms. I think that's a huge advantage when you're just starting out because most income sources depend on you having at least some size of an audience to whom you can market. Whereas uh, platforms like Skillshare allow you to reach a whole bunch of new people who may not otherwise be exposed to you. And as long as you put in the work to create a class that is of a certain quality level, you can do really well on Skillshare. I know that there are uh, teachers who make thousands of dollars a month on Skillshare if they focus on that being their primary platform. So that's completely up to you. For me, it's a secondary platform, but I've been able to earn on the platform right from day one, which is always so great to see, especially when you're starting your journey. The next thing you could consider doing is physical or offline workshops. That gives you a great chance to network with people and build an amazing community of people around you depending on where you live if it's a city where you think it might do well and you'd be able to attract an audience that's always a great option now the next thing is you could take that online and conduct online master classes where people can sign up to learn something really exclusive from you that's another great way to monetize your skills as an artist you could teach them either the basics of how to use whatever medium it is that you're most comfortable with or you could teach them something very specific like how to paint florals with oil paints. Workshops either offline or online are a great way to monetize even when you have a limited audience because you can conduct a workshop with even just 10 or 20 people and it could be something very exclusive. You could add a lot more value to it and charge a price that you think is fair and people would be happy to pay it if they feel like they're getting enough value out of it. Now the next thing 
thing you could do is create an online course of your own. Now this I would say depends on you having at least a certain audience size. I'm not saying that you need tens of thousands of followers on Instagram or YouTube, but it would make sense to have at least a couple of thousand people so that you're able to attract people to your online course. And an online course, while it is something that requires a lot of upfront work where you need to plan out a curriculum, you need to record all of these videos, uh, choose a host website, something like Teachable or Kajabi, for example, to put up your content on and then sell the course. It can become passive over time. Other than marketing it, once you've created your course, you don't have much more work that goes into it and it's something that can scale as your audience scales so i don't think it's ever too early to create something like that if you feel like you have a perfect idea for an online course something that's unique something that you feel you're able to provide a lot of value to people this need not just be about art it need not just be about creating an artwork Think about all the skills that you have picked up over the years. Think about things that you excel in. Now that could be social media for artists. Maybe you're somebody who's been able to grow your Instagram following to 20, 30,000 followers, which is pretty good for an artist in this day and age. So that's something that people might want to learn from you. Other artists would love to know how they can grow their following to that number. So think about all the skills that you have. It could even be uh, business for artists the possibilities are absolutely endless so think about what skills you have that you think you'd be able to give people the most value with and you can create an online course around that put it up on a platform of your choice and start doing the work to market that through your different uh, social media channels or whatever touch points that you have with your customers okay let's get into the third section of monetization options which is your content itself if you're an artist or a creative of any kind Kind, odds are you are active on at least one social media channel because it's just a way for you to be able to market your products so that could be Instagram for you or it could be a platform like YouTube for me personally right now I focus on Instagram and YouTube both that could vary for you depending on where your audience is at let's take YouTube as an example the first great way that you could monetize is YouTube AdSense so if you are putting in the work to build your YouTube channel over time you will be eligible for monetization now uh, granted that takes a lot of time and patience but it's something that can really pay off in the long run if you put in the work to do that I'm not yet there I'm still halfway to the follow account that I need to be able to monetize my channel but it's something that I am actively working towards now YouTube it can be considered an active income source or a passive income source because of course you need to keep putting in the work to create new content and keep your content fresh and relevant and keep people coming to your channel and subscribing um, but once you create content for YouTube it is quite evergreen which means that for me for example once my channel is monetized i can be making money from a video that i created a year ago or two years ago it can continue making money and paying dividends in the long run because it starts passively generating income but i would also be actively creating fresh content so it's up to you how you want to uh, bucket that but it definitely is a great platform and I think the competition is comparatively low and it's easier to carve out a niche for yourself here but it does take a lot more effort and the barrier to entry is higher which is exactly why the competition is lower. The next thing is brand sponsorships. So it could be a brand of paints that you love working with that decides to sponsor you or it could be absolutely anything. For example, for me, hopefully someday Skillshare might decide to sponsor one of my videos on YouTube and I could earn money out of that. It could be a sponsorship deal for multiple videos or just a deal for one video. Similarly, there are also ambassador programs that you can join. I'm an ambassador with my local art supply store, Hindustan Trading 
Marketing Company, which, by the way, if you want to pick up something from Hindustan, you can get a 10% discount with my code, which is right here. The next is Affiliate Marketing, which um, like the discount code I just told you, I'm an affiliate with Hindustan Training Company and I've also signed up as an affiliate with Amazon because I tend to purchase a lot of things from Amazon, not just my stationery and art supplies, but also the gear I work with for YouTube, also books and on my Instagram channel, I talk a lot about the books that I'm reading and I try to create content that's helpful for other people who are on the same journey that I am. So if I share what kind of supplies and gear that I use for recording my YouTube video, sometimes that's helpful for other young creators as well. And when I direct them to my affiliate link on Amazon, I earn a small commission. Uh, it's a really, really small commission. Doesn't really earn me much at the moment. But the hope is that it scales over time and of course all these little drops make up the ocean. So that's a great way and it could be absolutely anything that you enjoy using that is a part of your daily routine. You can always reach out to brands that you love, ask them if they have an affiliate program and tell them you'd be happy to promote their products to your audience, especially if you think there is a demand and you think your audience might be interested. The next one is Patreon and I know that a lot of artists are very active on Patreon. It's something that I have not yet quite set up for myself. It's definitely on the bucket list and I want to do it. And you can have different tiers of memberships on Patreon and that's again a combination of active and passive income because people sign up and they pay you a certain amount every single month depending on the tier that they're signing up for to get certain say exclusive content from you maybe one extra video from what you're putting up on youtube or exclusive tutorials or if like your audience is in the us and uh, everybody who's signing up is also from the us and you think you could ship something physical to them maybe they receive a small artwork from you on a certain schedule so that's completely up to you there are loads of examples on patreon that you can check out but that's again a great way for you to foster a relationship with your community and also get some steady income coming in on a monthly basis. The next one is paid newsletters. So if you're somebody who really enjoys writing and that's something I actually enjoy but I've again not yet explored this option but I've seen a lot of other creatives who I follow uh, using this option which is if they send out email newsletters on a regular basis they could have a paid version of the newsletter wherein people get access to some exclusive content. It's very similar to the Patreon model, but it's just completely in the newsletter format. There are of course many many more options that you could explore when it comes to monetizing your art and your talents, but these are just a few that I thought are quite simple to get started with. And I would urge you two things. One is don't put all your eggs in one basket, so don't just do one thing. It is great to have a suite of offerings uh, for your customers and for your audience and just for you so that you have a mix of passive and active sources of income and everything is not just completely dependent on your time going into the work. But at the same time, I would say don't try to do everything all at once. It would be best to focus on just three or max four different income sources at a time, set them up, get things flowing and once a couple of them become completely passive, then would be a good time to possibly explore something new. So I hope that was very helpful for you and let me know in the comments below which of these income sources you're going to consider exploring for yourself. If you already have a few of them set up, I would love to know which ones they are. Let's see which is the most popular choice. And I'm going to be creating loads more content in the coming weeks. Might even do a studio tour because like I said, this is a new space that I've set up. I'm so excited by it. Today the light is not so great because it's been raining, but on a good day, the lighting in here is absolutely beautiful so there's going to be lots more content about that and as usual about working with gouache and running a creative business so subscribe below stay tuned and if you want to know how i stay productive and stay organized to make sure i get everything done be sure to check out this video right here i'll see you guys in the next one thank you bye